RGB and UV on the same strip? <laughs> Introducing the RGB UV hybrid LED strips from CableMod. Click on the link in the description for more info. Please use responsibly. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So the topic of today's video is going to be slightly different than what I initially had planned. And my first idea was going to be, can you have a decent VR gaming experience for under 50 bucks? And I was going to test that out using, you know, a $10 Google Cardboard and this $20 Bluetooth gamepad that supports Android and stuff with, you know, maybe a pair of $10 earbuds. I thought it was going to be a cool video because I don't really have much experience with mobile VR and I'm sure some of you guys might be interested in something like that. But as soon as I started playing the games and actually filming the video, I was getting nauseous as hell. Like the motion sickness was unreal. Not so much from the, the head tracking because I could handle that no problem but any game that required my character to actually move, any character movement with the joystick, it just totally made me sick to my stomach and I could not get through it for the life of me to film that video. So I have since then changed the topic of today's content, which is going to be, can mobile VR actually scare you? Speaking of course about a horror VR game, and the reason why I'm asking this question is because it's pretty easy to see how an Oculus Rift or an HTC Vive could scare the living daylights out of you by playing, you know, a scary game on that platform because both of those VR headsets are high-end and they're backed by high-end hardware with, you know, awesome graphics, 90 hertz refresh rate and things like that. It's easy to really see how you could get immersed and, you know, scream your ass off in a scary game. But does it does the experience get watered down so much with mobile VR to the point where scary games are no longer scary, where it's just it's too pixelated or the refresh rate's too low, it takes you out of the experience altogether. So I guess that's what we're gonna be experimenting with today on myself, of course. The game that I'm gonna be playing today is called Chair in a Room, which does not require your character to move at all. You are simply static, you're, you're fixed in one point in the middle of a room and you just have head tracking, which again, does not make me nauseous by itself. So. We're gonna be doing that. It's uh, it's also available on HTC Vive, which I have not played it on that platform, nor have I ever played the mobile app version um, before filming this video. So all the reactions that you're about to see are completely 100% genuine. Uh, this has not been faked in any way, you have my word. One last thing I wanted to mention is that the screen recording app that I use to screen cap all of the gameplay footage on my phone doesn't actually have the licensing to record in-game sound for anything later than Android 4.0 or something like that. So as a result, you're not gonna hear any of the in-game, the original in-game audio, uh, but I have replaced that awkward silence with some scary music in post-production. So bear that in mind, you are gonna be missing out on some of the sound effects that serve as cues and, uh, and, and actually make it a more immersive experience for the user. But with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this bad boy up and we're gonna see if a piece of cardboard, a smartphone and some earbuds can scare the living daylights out of me. Cheers. Okay. What do I do here? Uh, chair in a room, a demo. Oh shit. Things are starting now. Take a look around and make yourself familiar with your surroundings. Don't mind if I do. Rechargeable torch, use a trigger to use it. Torch must be off the charge. Okay. Ah, all right. You're on your own. Yeah, I, I figured. It's over here. Oh, that's an open door. Oh, great. Love it when the lights turn out. That's fantastic. What is that noise from? I'm, I'm going to use... Oh, that's a chair. Those are just boxes. Who cares? Boxes are stupid. What? the F is that noise? Is that the chair? If you're gonna pop out and scare me, just do it already. I'm ready for it. I'm ready, I've trained all my life. Oh God. What the fuck? No, 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 no. What the fuck does that say? Liar idea. Oh my God. You're right, you're right. I shouldn't have shit on mobile VR. This is scary as shit. No, it's fine. It's really not that bad. The uh, the low refresh rate is 
keeping me from being fully immersed. Is that there before? Wait, why did the cigarette go out? I don't like how slow this flashlight recharges. Clearly this does not support Qualcomm Quick Charge. Is this just a game where you just look? You just look around and get freaked out of shit? Liar. Yeah, I get it. Alright. You're triggered. I understand. Ah! Fuck! Fuck you! Fuck you! No. No, 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 no. I don't like this. Why are you, why are you ugly? You're an ugly child. No wonder you're haunted. Everyone hates you. And then again with the stupid, with the stupid sounds. The stupid sounds, why is that? Those are boxes, that's a thing. Stupid baby. More boxes. Okay. Ah! Fuck you! You son of a bitch! That was not there! Why? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this to myself? Who- Why do people like this shit? This is stupid. This is a- I'm on a- I'm on a phone! Alright, there's hands in multiple places. I- He's got a really, really wide wingspan if his hands are that far apart. I don't- Oh god, no. Ah! I could really go for that cigarette right about now. Oh no. It's making uh, music box noises. Uh, and now my, my light went out. No, a girl's crying. There's a girl crying and shit. Okay, I hear you. Ah! There's a lady in the wall. Where are you? Shut up. Dude, get a freaking Kleenex, yo. Ah! Fuck! Fuck that shit! You are not gonna like this. Okay. All right. Wait, I don't like this. It's a chair in a room. Yeah, it's just a chair in a room. How bad could it be? I I just my mind. I don't want to do it. Can I leave one thing out? No. That's no. against the rules. It's not starting. <gasps> no. Wait, take a look around and make yourself familiar with surroundings. You can't move. Okay, some boxes there. It's actually making me feel a little dizzy. No. <gasps> I hear things. And the light's not turning on. Alright, try it now. I'm gonna put this battery pack in your lap. Does it work? <gasps> It works! It's working! Oh! Are you fucking kidding me? Where the fuck did she go? Oh my gosh. Okay! There's a creepy doll right there. Okay. Oh god. Okay, I'm done playing. I'm done playing this stupid game. It's fucking evil. Oh no. No, please stop. I don't wanna cry right now. What? I don't wanna even turn my huh. Where's the crying coming from? What the fuck is that? Alright, so there you guys have it. Um, I actually wasn't planning to have wifey sauce be in the video. She just happened to walk in the room when I was filming at the right time, or at the wrong time, uh, but it's pretty cool that we actually got her reaction in there as well. So, if you're still asking yourself, can mobile VR be scary? <laughs> All right, so some closing words before we wrap this up. I did want to mention that I was using a Samsung Galaxy S6 for this test, which 
technically has a higher resolution per eye than the Oculus Rift. I believe it's 1440 by 1080 per eye on this phone, which is slightly higher. So uh, resolution is there. However, that's really not a huge factor when it comes to VR, uh, so much as the fluidity or the refresh rate of the image. So the picture I was getting here was 60 hertz as opposed to 90 hertz on a high-end uh, VR headset, which definitely takes, it, it's a huge difference. It's a huge difference that really can take you out of the experience itself uh, and can make you a little bit more nauseous quite easily. Um, fortunately, I wasn't experiencing that with chair in a room. However, I was for sure with, uh, with other games as I had mentioned. So that's probably the biggest drawback I would say with mobile VR right now is getting that refresh rate higher. But I think it's probably not gonna be long before we see phones with 90 Hertz refresh rates specifically for mobile VR. I think without VR, um, there would probably be no need to have a refresh rate on a phone that high, uh, at least not so immediately. So um, I think the right ingredients are there. Uh, it just needs a little bit more time to catch up to speed where you can have a really solid VR experience on your smartphone. The other thing uh, that's a huge proponent to VR is audio, and that's often overlooked, but it's just so important to drawing you in, which is why Nvidia and AMD are so hard at work at their own VR audio initiatives. And the sound experience that I had in chair in a room was pretty much on par with anything I've had on the HTC Vive, for example. So that really allowed me to uh, get immersed into the atmosphere, and quite frankly, it allowed me to get scared. Uh, so. Like I said, I think there is huge potential here for mobile VR. I kind of um, am, a, am more of a believer in it now than I was before doing this little experiment. The last thing I will say is that the uh, the headset itself, for $10, Google Cardboard is quite a steal. However, um, it's not the most comfortable, obviously. Uh, it's not going to endure much of your sweat and things like that. Uh, and it's also got a lot of like light bleed from underneath the nose piece, the nose bridge, um, which can kind of be rectified. I actually put some like paper towel and some foam for my sweat and stuff. There's little things you can do. However, there's a bunch of other mobile VR headsets out there that uh, are much more comfortable and solve a lot of these problems with the cardboard. Of course, you're gonna pay a little bit more for those as well. But that is gonna do it for now, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know what you think of mobile VR, this experiment, the whole shindig in the comments below. Be sure to toss me a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a great weekend, and I will see you all in the next video.